Hello, good morning students. Today we will study the pest of paddy that is Leptochorisa variformis. It is a very important pest of paddy because it sucks the sap of the plant and ultimately the crop is affected. The systematic position of the rice gandhi bug is phylum arthropoda class insecta order hemiptera family LEDD genus Leptocorissa species very cornice. Distribution it is generally distributed throughout India but it is more prevalent in Bengal, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh and southern states. It is commonly called Gandhi Kida. It is active greenish yellow insect with very long legs and characteristic buggy order. The adult measures about an inch in length. They infest paddy crops in large number when it comes to flower. With the sucking mouth parts, they suck the milk from the newly formed grains which soon shrivels. The stalk remains quite sound but without grains. This is the morphology of the Gandhi bug that is Leptochorissa with very long legs. It is a bug with antenna and hemi elytra control measures. As the bug feeds and breeds on various types of grasses, especially during the off seasons, removal of grasses from the field and field buns helps in reducing the pest population. Draining out of the water from the infested field for 3 to 4 days is also very helpful. Crop rotation is advisable. Chemical methods, dusting of 5% BHC at the rate 15 kg per hectare soon after the pest is noted in the field. Melathion and methyl parathion dust is also very effective. Spraying of 0.2% DDT or BHC or 0.04% endrin at least two weeks before harvesting. Mechanical control, collection of bugs with hand nets and the destruction is a useful mechanical method. Biological control, Cycidala 6 punctata, it is pentatomid prey. It preys upon the nymph and adult of Leptochorissa. Coming to the life cycle of rice gandhi bug, after copulation, female lays eggs symmetrically into two to three rows. Eggs are dark colored, oval in outline and flattened at the top. Eggs hatch in about a week. The young nymphs have slender green body and longer legs. These nymphs generally take about 20 days to attain full maturity. All stages of developing bug color clusters round the ripen ear and suck out the juices. The pest is more common during July to November. During winter, their breeding rate is lowered much and the adult manage to tide over the cold on several other species of grasses. On paddy, it has five broods during the season. So the life cycle, it includes egg, nymph and the adult. The eggs, they are laid on the leaves from where they will hatch to form the nymphs. Nymphs, they are the miniature of the adult. Nymphs, they don't have the wings as well as the gonads. Otherwise, they are similar to the adult. They feed on the juices. So, this is how the adult individual it looks like. And it is present on the ears and ultimately feeds on the juices. So, see, look at the eggs laid on the leaf of paddy, egg, nymph and adult. These are the three important stages. So, sincere thanks to www.google.com for providing us beautiful pics so that we can explain our topic well. So, this is the rice field. 